Okay, so I will look into getting some markers next year. I'm going to be drawing Aquaman. I've got a couple markers in my hand. See if I can find some skinny markers. Um, but it, Copic markers are really expensive, so I can't get those right away. There's some details like the face. You're going to need like a really fine marker. So you need more than one marker um, for comics. Um, you can use a light box. Um, Okay, so I don't know how this marker is. Um, I'm a little bit skinnier, but not by much. See, I'm gonna look into getting a Copic marker, but uh, it's not skinny by much. These are scales or tattoos of his. I will look into trying to get at least some pads for um, comic book paper next year. We'll see how things go with that. And you can draw text in as well. So that's the good thing about comics. You can draw the text in and assign it somewhere. 20, 20. There's a little bit stronger paper, but you could trace things onto it. I don't know. So I've seen some people use on like a Bristol art paper, but if that'll show through. I don't know. Um, but I will look into some supplies next year, maybe. I can't right now. So I'm gonna look into getting a couple markers, but just for outlining. Uh, and detailing. So I can't do nothing with the face yet because this marker is too big. So I'm just going to use a black pencil crayon for that. If I have a skinnier marker, I could go into more detailing the abs or something over here. If you're drawing it freehand, you could have a hard time, and people will say, oh, the, that's not the right way, but, um, it depends who you're learning from, so. So I'm going to keep Art in the Studio as my name for this kind of drawing. Yeah. Often I like an initial somewhere on the drawing itself. And drawing abs is a very important, so you should be accurate. If you're doing like a half pose, you could blow it up even on your printer or print it out, enlarge it. Which I'll probably do some half poses as well. Um, I will try to get another marker so I could do more detailing. I'm gonna use my black pencil crayon um, for the nose part until uh, I buy a more detailed marker so I could get in the face a little bit more. So I don't know his colors, so I cannot just go in and start coloring him black or start coloring him in blue because I need to have the reference on hand um, so I get the accurate coloring, but the rough coloring is pretty good, how I like to color things in. Something like shading. Um, Good to have pencil crayons. Uh, at least markers are too expensive for me. So um, yeah, if I get a couple markers next year, and I'll look into comic paper if I can afford it. If not, I'll buy just a little bit better paper or some or better sketchbook and just tear the paper out from that and use that uh, for my comic book practice. Uh, 
Oh, I almost forgot the uh, lettering up top. So, yeah, lettering, um... Oh, uh, well, man, that's gonna be accurately perfect. Winter. Year end. That's not quite Christmas drawing. It might be uh, Christmas drawing. I'll post it around then. Another one, I think. Darken some areas, so. You could try a free hand if you want to, but I don't recommend it. Light box and just make yourself one and buy yourself uh, like a flat light so you can hang it in the back. Um, and, and you can see the image, but some papers might be too heavy. So uh, you might need it to try to get the accurate pose. You could try a free hand, but I don't, I don't like free hands, so I don't do that. I just draw it out uh, carefully and whatever markers I could get in hand. Thanks for watching. Aquaman. Comics was quite fun for me back in high school. You could learn marker drawing is too expensive, so I didn't get into that a lot, but you do do marker drawing a lot in school. Thanks for watching. And it just kept with me. Uh, Particularly, painting is too expensive, so I, I'm not going to do that. Thanks for watching.